can you tell uh, us a little bit about the first meeting you had with Elvis? Where was that and uh, how was that? Yeah, um, Las Vegas was was my first my first meeting and my first shows with, with Elvis it was at the International Hilton in, uh, in Las Vegas. And my very first meeting with him was they scheduled a, a rehearsal the night before he was to open uh, there. And up, up uh, top of the Hilton Hotel, there was a big uh, ballroom and they were in the ballroom to uh, all the band was there and all, all the singers, backups of the Sweet Inspirations and uh, all the stamps and, and then the band members, and they were all there to rehearse. But I, I made a big mistake my very first meeting, and, and I wasn't aware of it uh, at first. But at, at that particular time, um, bib overalls was a popular dress, uh, you know, for younger younger people. I mean, obviously older people, but uh, well, older people didn't see it. But younger girls and guys they were wearing bib overalls. It was it was hip, if you, if you know what that word is. Yeah, I do. And so uh, I'm. I bought. I had. I had a pair of bib overalls because I thought they were. I thought I was being hip. I thought I was being cool, and so I had those those bib overalls on when I went up to the rehearsal. And when Elvis came in, um, of course, I was extremely intimidated just by the sight of him. You know, coming through the door with the bodyguards on each side and. Uh, moving around the room, uh, he was going over to the suites and hugging them. And then he came over to the stamps and talking to JD and slapping him on the back and laughing and carrying on. And, and I'm kind of standing over to the side, trying to, trying to, uh, not call any attention to myself really. Cause I was, I was too intimidated, but finally, um, Ed Enoch said to Elvis, he called him E said, E, I want you to meet, uh, our new bass singer, Larry Strickland. And Elvis looked at me and he put his hand out and shook my hand. And then he pulled Ed over to the side and he said, Ed, where in the world did you get the effing farmer? And I heard him say it because he was just, well, just a couple of feet away from me. And when I heard that, you know, I, I, but I immediately went into almost a panic attack. And, Whoa, man, I have really called the wrong kind of attention to myself with these bib overalls. And he went around, and then Elvis went around the room talking with everybody else, but he would point, he would point me out. And uh, just everybody just had a, the whole entourage just had a big laugh over me and my overalls. <laughs> and so... <laughs> It's not nice of Elvis doing that. <laughs> I guess you might have felt very bad at that time. Well, it's, it's funny now, but it, it wasn't funny then because I thought I probably would be fired. You know, I thought, you know, I've, I've made the wrong impression. Uh, I'm not fitting in here at all, and I'm probably going to be on the next plane home, you know, from, from Vegas. Um, <clears throat> but what, what they didn't tell me, uh, and of course they didn't think to tell me because they you know, it's, it's not like it's written down anywhere, but Elvis really, he really didn't like those, uh, those overalls. If you've ever seen any of the pictures of him as a small child, when he's like two or three years old, yeah. he's, he's wearing those, he's wearing those little bib overalls. And so, you know, to him that those, those represent, you know, poverty and a, and a rough time in his life. So, uh, he didn't. He didn't like any kind of blue jeans or jeans of any kind uh, to be worn on shade, on stage. He didn't allow that. Uh, and uh, and so I guess when he's when he saw me wearing those bib overalls, it was uh, he probably didn't know what else to do but just make fun of it at my expense. Uh -huh. That must have been terrible for you. I I can imagine. You know. Oh, it was. It was. 